Hello, AP Physics One. It's Mr. Ng with number seven out of your energy packet. Um, this question is not um, particularly hard, but it's hard to set up. So let me walk you through how I would set it up. It says a car of mass m slides across a patch of ice at uh, speed v. And I think because it's ice, um, we're assuming ideal conditions, right? Ice has very low friction. And then all of a sudden, it hits a dry pavement, and it skids to a stop at a distance d. And the friction coefficient, the kinetic friction coefficient is u. So what happens if we double the mass? So um, how do we even set that up? And like, how are we gonna deal with all these um, variables? Let's start with the very beginning. The very beginning, the car is moving, right? So I know that uh, initially there's a bunch of kinetic energy, right? And then it starts to skid. So um, when it skids, I'm, I'm thinking of negative work, right? I'm thinking of some sort of work is applied from the friction, okay? So the kinetic energy is one half mb squared right and then all of that energy is going to be transferred into the work and work if you remember is equal to force times distance so i'm just going to say the force of friction right because that's the only work um that's the only force that's on it times distance does that make sense here let's let's clarify so this car along that surface the only force on it is going to be that friction right is there any uh, applied force in front it's skidding on its own. There is no applied force in front. So the only force, the net force of it, is that friction. Okay, that, that's pretty good. And here, this is actually the key of it. If you have this equation set up, now we just have to double the mass. If we double the mass, I'm put a 2 here, what happens on this side? If you're very math savvy, you'll see that uh, the only way for this relationship to be maintained is you got to put a 2 there, meaning the uh, distance will double. So the answer is D. Yeah. Um.